Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. And a, and a Coke as well. You see, you can't really beat it. You got to have right. the shmi and then the Coke to wash it down. What what blend is this? I got it at Starbucks. Star see, it's it's a Howard Schultz thing. You know, I met Howard Schultz two years ago at a wake. At, I'm not at a wake, at a, at a um, shiva. Same thing. Right, for his, his, his mom, because I'm friendly with his, uh, his brother. And I said to Howard, Howard. What did Howard say? Howard said that he was, he was very iffy about going running. I said, are you going to run with Hillary? Because Hillary was running, right? I said, you're going to be the vice president? I said, I said you'll be the first Jew. It'll be, it'll be a good thing. Let's do it, you know? Yeah. And he said, eh, eh. You see, and now, now. Scoop now what? <laughs> All right. Blabbity blue. Scoop D. Oh, yeah. I have a quick question, and then I want to introduce you guys. What is the difference between a shiva and a wake? It's Religion. the same thing. One's, uh, I think, for Irish, and the other is for Jews. Okay. So, excuse me. Daddy? Okay. Cousin Teddy? Hi guys, listen. Thanks for for uh, for running all the cameras and stuff. I really appreciate. Hello, how it. are you? All right, thank you. All right. Um, so yeah, I want to introduce you guys. This is a podcast that I think I'm starting. I've been recording podcasts for four years and I've never put any of them out. And now I'm is, gonna. Is that an internet thing? Is what an internet thing? The podcast. Yeah. Do you not know what a podcast is? Have you ever listened to a podcast before, Teddy? Bring the microphone a little closer to you, Teddy. Teddy, you could bring the arm. You could lay back, relax. Lay back, lay back, yeah. Relax, no, and then I'm just bring it to you, yeah. I'm just pulling your leg. You didn't change your shirt. <laughs> no. no. What is your obsession with me changing this shirt? Well, you wore the shirt yesterday, so it two days ago. Two days ago. Me. Excuse me for interrupting. I like okay? to see new stuff every day. You for know, those like of you that don't know about the prep for this podcast, we were instructed not to smoke any pot until we got to Ricky's right house. go ahead you can start now okay um smoke some pot All you right. guys get a little high and sometimes a little too high and i didn't want this to start off with you guys drooling on yourself so well, you could roll your joints now we don't, now. Too we high. don't we have, this, drool we, we on are, ourselves we've been smoking for many many years this is called maintenance we we keep, we have to keep the thing going it's okay it's sort of like antidepressants except we don't have to take like um pills we smoke weed. Plus we're on vacation. I get it. And, Listen. And then it gives you a little bit, bit, bit of boost. I love it. You know? I love and it. I just herbal. didn't want you guys to be just out of it. Incoherent. You yeah. didn't want to be incoherent. Okay. So go ahead. Okay. You help yourself. Roll right, so it well, up, I was, Teddy. Tell no, us I'm what you're going to do, Ted. I am fortunate enough to be with my cousins in LA, right? And we went to the uh, Med, uh, Med Men, right? Med Men is the thing. Is that a plug? No, it's, it's a plug for Med Men. I'm actually going to buy the stock tomorrow morning. If I can really? Yeah, yes, we I looked will. it up. We're gonna buy a thousand Three bucks shares. A share. Just it's cheap enough, okay. right? What the fuck? Excuse, oh, excuse my French. No, it's you're allowed to swear. Just All don't right, speak so, French. Uh, All right. Well, the French thing. We'll talk about the French thing later. Right. Yes. Right. Well, All right. Get your put, yeah, put the tray on you, your tell lap. Tell us what you're doing. Tell us what you're doing. All right. Uh, so I went into one of your what, 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 fumble. What, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We can fix this. All right, so... So just put the coffee on the side so we don't drop it. The Hollywood Bowl. Put the coffee on the side. The the coffee on the, side. Right. Coffee's on the side. And okay, are you looking where you're putting it? Yet, you folks. looking where you're yes. putting it? If anyone if, listens to this, I want you people to know that I'm really having fun. So LA, we went to the Our Med Men. Um, the Recreational Legal Med Men you know, Dispensary. And I went right to the top items in the store immediately and uh, just for confirmation i asked the guy i said hey listen did i buy the best stuff in the store and he went by far by okay. far okay so and by the way we, we were by one of those tarantulas for how much well the small tarantula joint was 23 dollars a joint right i go to the guy goes hey you guys should have this and then Teddy goes, well, look at all this stuff I'm buying. I can make one of those. He goes, yeah, you're right. You uh, bought the right stuff. And he said, by far. Right. Bumble. Oy vey. Oy vey. Oy vey. A kabuggle. A kabuggle. Is that a camera? A kabuggle. All right. Somebody have gas. All right. I'm not sure if we're filming or whatever. Yeah, you go, Ted. All right. So listen. 
Normally, I carry a, yes. a bamboo in my pocket. Which, Teddy's a bamboo man, for anybody that doesn't know. Right, He's not an easy wider guy. He right, likes it's the from bamboos. S- since 1764, you see the little guy on the little, 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 little It's guy. the Mr. Bamboo. This is the French guy. Who are, or right. Actually, they're made in Spain. Teddy, roll the fucking joint. All right, listen. And listen to this. They come from Bam- Westbury, which is about two exits away from me on the... Uh, the L.I.E. in New York. All right, so I'm a two guys. guy. I, I I like two two uh, papers, so I do the, yeah. Uh, but are they one and a halfs or ones? No, they're ones. Right, I, so. Typical, right. this is where the wood. This is the old was, style joint, Woodstock, folks. man, come on, right. Woodstock. This right? is a Woodstock see, joint. Typical, blah, 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 yep. blah, blah, blah. Now, yep. now watch then you get the quarter fold do. there. Watch that, watch that. Now, I need a little, I need a little something from you guys, okay? What do you mean? I need, um... You, you know, mean? like a coffee stir. Do you have a coffee stir? I don't have chance? a coffee stir. Do you have a little small plastic knife, maybe? Teddy, improvise. Yeah, I'll get you a plastic knife. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Props. All right, All right. we need some props. Okay, so what are you busting into All there? Right, so now, we Teddy? have some pretty good shmi. Uh, this shmi is a lemon shmi. It's called Duran Poison. What percentage THC is it? It is 26% and zero CBD. Right. We love CB, uh, CBD, and we have a zero, zero Who amount. Who needs and, CBD? You got right. the THC, 26%. Right. So, well, that stuff is the right stuff well, you can tell by far. The, as far as I'm concerned, if you can you can crush the buds up with your fingers nice and yeah, It's nice and dry. Like it's ready. This, ready dry. Yeah. You don't need to fucking need a, you know, a grinder. You don't need a grinder a, if you like. We don't no, need don't a need grinder. See, because real good weed... You don't need a grinder because it's been cured properly. And it's a nice aroma. I wouldn't say it's like, you know, 10. I would say it's 8.96. Nothing wrong with 8.96 where I'm too from. It's not bad. You know, basically, you got to get the good stuff. You got to go up to, to Murder Mountain. And I'm not going up there right now. So we're going to Ted, keep- Ted, this is much more highest higher content THC shmi than what we had in uh, Jamaica uh, six weeks oh, ago. Oh yes, okay. yes, yes. You see, Jamaica has a much, much more low grade. So, does Jamaica have better shmi or better coffee? Better coffee. Okay, that's yeah. good to know. Better coffee, but they do have good shmi. I and get this thing to stay. All right. So listen, I rolled some nice weed here. You okay, know, right now. That, right? Now you're going to add now the we're gonna, additions. We're, we're going to do a little, as Ricky would say, like, the mods. Right, so I'm like, telling you, the coke. I know it's not open, but it's kind of scaring me a little. Why don't we put that on the? <laughs> there's no so coaster. Yeah, put it on the floor there. Wait, but when it's open, we have to reestablish. Yeah, of course, of course. All right. Of course. I think okay. we need a little. Let's go in for right? a little bit more dev because he doesn't want to smoke a. Let's roll a tiny. All right. So we we have, we have enough for a nice little, okay. nice joint. But we have other things. This is one of one wonderful thing about Los Angeles, which I love about LA. I love LA, by the way. You know, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know that's a, a Randy Newman song. Yes, right? it is. From I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> right. And uh, go LA. Right. One of the things you love about <laughs> LA. Nice, whoa, man. whoa, 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 whoa! Like Technical <laughs> schmuck. I can't get this thing to stay. And Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> right. All right. So I got all sorts of of. of of toys i got this stuff called this little the different types of waxes uh-huh. which What's is this extract called, this um this particular one uh who the fuck knows but it's good tell uh, us what uh, wax is teddy for the viewers out there that is, aren't it, quite it's, sure it's an extract of cannabis and there's many ways of doing it they can do it in like a sticky way they can do it in like a cracky kind of way, and then Ted, they can do remember, it in a fluffy way. Remember one time we were at an undateable taping, and Ron Funches brought out the wax? R- yes, Ron knows how to get a good wax. He had the blowtorch wax, I remember yeah. that. When, that was, he had the that nice was quite fluffy. debilitating, yes. He had the nice fluffy, which I was able to pick up at this wonderful store, Med, Med Men. Med Men. See, Med Men so had see that everything you're spreading, I wanted. You're spreading the wax on the paper like mustard. Yes, I am. I'm okay. spreading it like a, Dij- like a nice Dijon. <laughs> I'm just sweating now <laughs> okay all right okay what comes after that wax well, now Ted? i see sweet. a couple more jars in front of this this wax is extremely expensive <laughs> okay it has to acclimate i'm and sure we have to get it on the paper nicely and you know not on you there we go yes we're doing it's a, a good smear job. it's, it's a smear like, you know something it's all about the ritual uh-huh. you know that's what we love about it it's a ritual you prepare your product or not your product but your um you know, this is going to be a, a your religious joint. experience. Yeah. So basically, you're preparing your um, okay. next uh, communion or whatever. Yeah, right. You know. Yes. What's anyway, next? We're going to go for something uh, much more exotic now. Ooh. Oh, this is a fluffy keef. 
Fluffy this is the teeth. stuff that you see usually. Is this the stuff that's when you buy those tarantula joints, they're dipped in hash oil? Steve, and then I'm, keep... I'm glad you brought that up. Okay. That's exactly what I mean. <laughs> okay. Exactly what now I mean. I know. How did you know? How I know. You know? That, I, I, that fluffy keef, yeah, man, yeah. there's nothing like yes. it. Yes, well, Steve knows his shit. So, so let like... me ask you something, Ted. I see you're putting the fluffy keef inside the joint. I'm, exactly. It's a, a lot of people different. put it outside it's the joint. It's a little different. It's a little different. You know, it's like okay. adding a I little... I imagine the effect It's like is adding a little garlic or like... Like onion powder, or something like tea, tea, tea. You know, it's, we give me a little flavor, 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 yes. flavor. No, but no clock, no clock. Right. Okay, so you put and there's no that, time limit on this. That that's fluffy another, keef that's the goes right thing. over you the can wax. Take as long there. as you want. Yeah, look at that. All right, keep it up, baby. Yeah. Right. So we keep it up a little bit. Keep it up a little bit more. Yeah, you know. We're leaving we're tomorrow. We're OG. We're old, old, old growers, man. Okay. We, we've been doing this for a long time. We know what to do. And we just keep giving a little, hey, maybe a little more. What can I, hey, what can I do? Yeah. <laughs> People don't understand the what, craftsmanship what the that goes into smoking a joint like We're this. We're in L.A., right? Uh, you I love, love L.A. LA. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. All right. So, okay, so that was the fluffy keef. That was the fluffy keef. After the right. mustardy no. wax. Now, now let's, there's let's, one more jar Let's not fuck there. around. Okay. All right? All this right. is like a, one of those barbecue shows. We're going to, like, turn up the heat. All right? <laughs> right? Look, I don't know if you can see this, but... But we have an actual chunk of fucking hash. In oh, here. this is the hash ball. Woo, there it oh, is. There Look it at is. that ball. The hash a ball. ball. Hash. You not haven't to seen be, one not of to these Not to be confused suckers. with a malted Oh, net. boy. Malt you, you haven't seen one of these in a long time. No. Wait, yeah. hold on. Dad wanted to make sure it wasn't confused. The hash ball wasn't confused with what? A malted malt ball. A, malt a ball. malted malt ball? Yes. <laughs> you think it's called a yeah. malted malt ball? A malted ball. Isn't it a yeah. malted moth or something? No, it's I'm malted ball. I'm go-karting. They can't say malted twice. Right? Do you know what it's called? Yeah, it's Malton the same ball. thing when when Cleveland plays the no, Atlanta you don't Hawks. It, it's Cleveland's playing Atlanta. I understand. I, well, You've been saying Atlanta for thirty now? years. What I'm asking is, do you actually no. know what the candy is called? Is this a football game? Are we fucking doing uh, a, a joint? All right, watch this. You see, this is hash. Okay. You can't find this shit anymore. It's impossible to find because every country that makes the stuff. Are our enemies? <laughs> Lebanon, Afghanistan, is our enemy. Syria. Is all right, our enemy. all right, all right. Okay. We got some enemies. Right. 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 Afghanistan, right. everybody. Right. Now right. our friends so in Med Men are making hash. Yeah, so I don't know how these motherfuckers they're are They're making doing. it. They're Maybe compressing they got some it. some Afghanis yeah. in the back room. <laughs> Who the fuck knows, right? I finished the fucking show. Right, here we go. So we I, I got I to gotta interrupt of just course. because, just right. because, right. Right. just because I, I don't know if I'm supposed to, if the way you said Afghanis just stound, sounded shitty, and I no. wanted to say, I, I, I'm not for the way you said it. I don't know all why. Right, I'm just right. protecting my ass right, here. <laughs> Af as far as I'm concerned, Afghanis have fucking beautiful dogs. Okay. <laughs> okay. You don't have to validate. Yeah, yeah. Just All make right. the hash. Hold right. on. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Bro, that's what you're saying. Beautiful hash. dogs. I love their <laughs> Afghan. I love the Afghans. For, 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 before you were born, I would have Af you, 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 Afghan you, dog. You, yeah. Right? Yeah. You love I, Afghan like, dogs. I, my, I like Afghan rugs Af too. Yeah, I, you know, I love <laughs> Afghanistan. I love the whole concept of Afghanistan. <laughs> What's the concept that you love? The fucking hats. Okay. Okay. Make the make the weed. I like the fucking hats. I like the way they fucking grow lots of opium. That's that's a very cool thing. You know. I hate to interrupt you. Am I getting politically incorrect? Roll the joint. Roll, I hope roll, so. Roll the joint. All right, so I'm putting the hash in, okay. which you can't get from Afghanistan yeah, We got anymore, that right? already. But I bet you like this. We can fly to Afghanistan before you have the joint rolled. <laughs> All right. Ooh, Ricky, hash this is, is fun, good. Ricky. Right, we have now, glad you guys are here. All right, listen, look at this shit. I don't know what it is. We're going to call it the UFO. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to call it. Area 52 is going on this thing. We don't know what it is. <laughs> Teddy. What? what? No, it's because Teddy's always one off. <laughs> what do you want? You want... You got a script for me? Uh, come on. I'm writing a fucking script. What do you want from me? All right. All right. This is the, what we should call a fucking super, yeah, super, oh boy. super stupid yeah. joint. I mean, we got fucking Look it's at ridiculous. Everything. He's got four different I did this ingredients for my in cousin. that joint. There. I did this for my cousin. I put I everything away. It. Notice how I put everything away. Because yep. a good cook yes, cleans always up. cleans up <laughs> after. Absolutely. Because once we smoke right? that, you ain't cleaning up right, anything. So check this out. All right. So right, over, the tray, over the tray. 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 true talents come in, folks. So like, you know, Watch him twist this We have a lot of wax in this thing. We have some hash. We have some very high grade uh, cannabis. And we're going to roll this thing into 
what you call a fucking oh, your fingers. I'm gonna get you something lost. for your fingers. <laughs> Seriously, don't touch anything. Don't touch the mic or anything. When it's done, we're gonna we're gonna get, I'll get you something for your fingers. I'm gonna suck my fingers over off. the tray. Over the tray, Teddy, 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 Teddy. Over the tray. I'm gonna get some for your fingers. I'll be right back. What are you gonna get me? Like one of those things to get for lobsters? What are you gonna give me? Lobster bib? This guy is a fucking anal knucklehead. Okay. <laughs> I love him, but he's crazy. Oh, goodness me. He's going to give me something. What are you yes. going to give me? An enema? <laughs> <laughs> give me an ice cold enema. I'm oh. like really. How you about know. an ashtray and a lighter? Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <Okay>. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Give me something that I need. And I get it for Diet Coke. It comes with ice in a glass. All right, dude. <laughs> it, you haven't changed that fucking shirt. All right. <laughs> Swear to God. All right. You ready? <laughs> hey, look at your, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Pick it up. Pick it up. Not with the fingers. Oh, 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 oh. I got to fucking with the OCD I'm fucking sorry. knucklehead here. I'm going to give you a little more love here. Jesus Christ. Uh, no wonder you're not married. All right, here we go. Okay, roll that, baby. That wasn't on tape? Yeah, yeah. Because you fucking missed some of the best shit going. Oh, yeah, that was all on tape. You got to keep everything going. You got to roll. That's the first thing about being in a, in a studio, man. You keep it rolling. <laughs> yes. That's Teddy uh, runs a studio, and his rule in studio is keep it rolling. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, twist that sucker up. <laughs> you know, Ricky, while Teddy's getting that ready, I'll tell you that he has recorded a song. I forgot all the rest of the members of the band, but it's called The Smoke Song. Oh, yes, it's a classic. It's a classic. It was actually written and and conceived by uh, one of the only jazz tuba players in existence. He actually played in Coltrane's band. This is a fact. Ray Draper. This Ray is Draper was on The Smoke Song. If you say, Google the name, you will song, find out song. that he is the, the shit, you know? Teddy, so if you're Teddy, a jazz can we, fanatic, um, can we do a few lyrics from that song for the for the fans? Well, you know, it starts cushy, off with, uh, it's cushy little, uh, cushy little bits, cushy little bits of sour. And you know, see how I many blunts I can twist in is, an hour. What you could do is you could overdub this later on in your little mix. Yeah, thing, that's what I'll right? do. Okay. And I think I'm gonna, can I can't even get the microphone to stand on the fucking <laughs> right. thing. I'm overdubbing. So they, can get, they can get a little flavor of what real. I can give you the song. Cushy little bits. I mean, you want me to get my phone? No, light that baby up. All right. So, um, are we ready? Wait, to yeah, do? hold on. So, jokes aside, though, the wet nap with your fingers <laughs> over the tray. Jokes aside, though. <laughs> All right, over the tray, and then you got a dry one there for you. And then, normally, the rule of the house is you don't eat, you don't drink without trays over the rug. You definitely don't smoke. You smoke outside or by the sink. But where, where, where are we in the in the <laughs> Vatican? <laughs> Your fucking house and fucking don't take LA, pictures of the man. ceiling either jesus christ right. i'm glad, I have, new, my I'm glad I have my depends on <laughs> ricky is that why are you burning me so hard you know how i am about my place how did when you walk in does the place look hey, clean you want you want some confrontation no, no. okay no I, want no. You, I want you to i just want you to clean your fucking fingers they're Light clean all right joint. i just rolled the fucking Light joint from fucking joint. Night. this is a joint Light you know what this is like star joint. trek for god's sakes Light. That nice joint. Light that <laughs> joint. Light that joint. All right, we're ready that for joint. smoking. Anyone more want to smoke? Yeah, well, obviously over the tray, joint. though. Yes, we're smoking over this. Am I correct? <laughs> yeah, so you're going to smoke first. <laughs> right. And then you're going to hand the tray, the tray to my dad. To right. Yes. Right. That's the, that's the project we're going to yeah, go back pa and Puff, forth. puff, pass, pass. Gosh, got you. Oh, this is very easy. Very, very easy. <laughs> I can handle that. Okay. All right. But I want you to notice how lovely that came out. It's a gorgeous sure. joint. It really is. With all, it's packed with all. I mean, that it ha it's attitudes. it's really loaded with. This must be a fifty dollars joint. Yeah, it that's my point. At Mad joint. Men, they were selling they were selling large tarantula $50. joints for fifty dollars. Add the tax, it but was sixty three dollars. Sixty three dollars for a joint. I right. looked at the guy. But go, there was no area are you 52 serious? And no hash. He goes, "Have you ever smoked one before?" This is probably the said, ultimate weed joint that we could smoke if. In, this is probably the most potent cannabis joint we would, could ever smoke, unless someone else has got uh, something. I have a feeling we'll find something. And if they something. do, let me give you my email address. So <laughs> you can contact me immediately, danog at aptonline.net. No, right? Ricky doesn't like when you do that. No right. social security numbers either. <laughs> <laughs> Like the fucking right. joints. Listen, 
over the tray, Teddy. This is a very, this, listen. Film. I know how to fucking light it, John. Okay, Teddy. The other day, you had the phone in your hand asking for it for 15 seconds. No, we're not seconds. talking about it the other day. Yeah. The other day, you were wearing the same shirt. <laughs> Let's stay on the same day, all right? And don't blow it into the mics either. <laughs> you're not, oh my you're not Lil Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> what? Doesn't do yeah. No, that's a bad little John, and he yells it. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I Who's love little John? John. Mm, in the know. Khyber Pass? I don't know, but I'm Listen, having a panic attack until this thing's put out. Started. But the whole thing was to smoke a joint. <laughs> the whole thing was to have to do a podcast. Ricky, we will not burn anything. Trust uh, us. Okay. And if, God forbid, if he would burn something, he'd buy you new. What do you think I'm going to do? <laughs> this guy is like, I'm working for a very crazy producer right now. Yes. <laughs> All right. I love him dearly. Oh, here it comes, right. folks. Here I'm comes. passing the joint. In the plate. In the proper uh, way it taste, to my the cousin. Way? How's it Deli taste, by uh, the way? Absolutely spectacular, right, okay? Farther, it right? has okay. multi-different flavors. Um, I would say the complexity is completely complex, all right? Because it's got, it's absolutely spectacular. It might be one of the best joints I've ever smoked. It's delicious. It's absolutely undescribable, right? Oh. What's that word? Undescribably delicious. Yeah, what is that? It's, it's, a, it's a cookie or something. Yeah, you know? whatever. It's a jingle. People for. are wine fanatics. Oh. People are cheese fanatics. Dry mouth here. Hold on. We're pot fanatics. Where's the uh, deli tray? Oh boy, that that's a great joint. I mean, that's a class A joint. That's a classic I gotta tell joint. you something, okay? Come on. When I'm by myself, tell me that's the most delicious fucking thing I've ever tasted. In my that's not from what you get at the fuck. That's not. No. You don't get that at no, the bar. No, you could okay. go work for Med Men and roll, sit in the back room and roll those all no, day I could long. Be, I could be a taster. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I need a water. This guy. I don't. I don't know if our producer is going to be. I don't know if our producer is going to be able to finish this this podcast. So just let you know. Um, hey Ricky. I know if you can hear me, I think we instead of naming this a podcast, <laughs> we should name it a podcast. <laughs> a podcast. Oh my gosh. Yes. Thank you, California. It's really what what they've opened up is all the different varieties and there's two so many different varieties, it's very confusing. You know. Dude, that's gonna get me <clears throat> so high. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is not just a joint. This is the joint. Yeah, man. Uh, I'd okay. like to give a shout out <clears throat> to Kiva Chocolates. <laughs> shout out, shout Kiva. Out. The, the, ch the chocolate weed, it's more palatable to me. The weed or the... Uh, the the device, the, the device, the, uh, the device that transmits it through my blood. I would rather <clears throat> metabolize you, a piece of chocolate. It? Do you eat it? I, I eat it. Okay, because I like the I like a brownie. This mm. is the way I do it. I I, I, I only do it on Sunday mornings because uh, I know I'm not going to go anywhere. So Monday Sunday morning, I wake up, mm. I make my coffee, mm. cappuccino kind of style, right? And then I have a little bite of my little brownie, mm. and then I wash it down with the cappuccino. Mm -hmm. And I do that maybe maybe like you know I would say a nice dosage, of maybe uh, 150 milligrams. It would that would thing. kill me. All right, <clears throat> and. Uh, then I watch um, reliable sources. And like, meet the press. You know, like, and then I watch um, GPS with Chuck uh, Todd, Fareed uh, Zakari. You know? My favorite show, by the way. His favorite show, Fareed Zakari. And, um, you know where he's that's from? That's where I learned my old... My, Afghanistan. My, you know, right? That's where I learned all about Afghanistan. You know? Syria and all that shit. Any, any other, would you like to ask me any other questions? I thought well, I was I'm so I thought, fucking high on this weed. I, I thought was, Ricky, I thought it was rather ironic that Teddy loved the show, and it turns out it's the show that Lamorne narrated. Oh, that that show is my favorite. Yes, shout out to Valley of the Boom with Lamorne Morris. Absolutely brilliant, Valley fantastic show, boom. brilliant show. I'm going to watch um, it as soon as I get home. And uh, Teddy, give that network a plug again. What is that? Is um, Nat Geo? Yeah. Nat I think it is. Geo. It's absolutely <clears throat> one of one of the best. Uh, unknown shows that uh, that I've ever watched. It was great. You know, I've I've done. I binged it, and I did. I couldn't stop watching it, and it's just it's absolutely. Once you get into it, you can't stop watching it. I've never seen a docu, documentary like that. Huh? It's a, a documentary. It's not like a docudrama. It's a documentary. It's a doc. But they dance. <laughs> they. It's you got to see this thing. It's weird because they they dance it's a in the documentary. 
They do, you know, so it's like the little, they take it over to a, to a different level. They do like dancing, like, um, what's that? Um, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Teddy. I'm talk- All right, hold on, man. Come on. You want to rewind? Don't give the joint Can hand. we rewind? No. <laughs> no, what I'm trying to say is not, it's not just like a, sh- a sh- like a, a, a documentary. It's uh, like a, almost like a comedy in a sense, a, da- a dark comedy, but then they have a musical part to it. Where everyone is dancing like like in um Are you um, tripping? What the fuck no, no, are you no. describing? Let me finish my comment. I thought it's about the internet. What's that, what's that show with uh, 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 uh uh WC Fields? No, no, that that one I love. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to that story real quick. All right, tell Ricky the WC Fields. What's the guy's oh, name? Oh, man. So here's here, I'll set this no, up for you, Teddy. This. I no, finish I, this. that's boring. I'm cutting right. it. We're okay. going to <laughs> it's cutting me out. Jesus. Actually, why don't we right. cut and go to commercial? We have a sponsor from Marshall Rug Gallery. I believe Steve has the copy. Look to camera. Okay. All right. Hi, folks. Is there a sale going on? No sale because our rugs are on sale every day at Marshall Carpet One and Rug Gallery. Come visit us at 1451 Sunsetter Road. We've been going out of business for 50 years now. Every day is a going out of business sale. Marshall Carpet One and Rug Gallery. Thank you very much. Is that the copy that you would give for actual if if you were paying a podcast? <laughs> podcast. Not to, don't breathe into it, please. Okay. Please. There, Teddy, light it up, oh, baby. Almighty. If you were to give copy for a podcast and spend five thousand dollars to have someone read it for thirty seconds, it would go. It, it would have been better than that. Better than <laughs> Teddy, that. let me see how you would do it for thirty seconds to camera for what? Marshall Rug Gallery, thirty Marshall second Rug. spot. <laughs> Um, <laughs> thirty second spot, Marshall Rugby. This is, this is a little, this is a little bit difficult. But I need a little, I need a little prep for that. That kind of thing, I need a prep. Yeah, sure, we'll give you some. If time, I'm yeah. a, if I'm improvise on that, I would just go. Um, come to Marshall Rug Gallery <laughs> today. <laughs> We're having a special sale, right? Bring your wife, bring your kids, and you can find play with the dog. What's the dog's name? OJ. OJ is waiting for you. OJ. Wants you to buy a rug, all right? You need a rug. Come on, everyone needs a rug, right? You got to warm up your home. Come on down to the gallery. <clears throat> Today is our special day. <laughs> Boom. Can I? Can Thank I give you. one? Yeah, please do. How you doing? My name's Rick Glassman from the Podcast Podcast, and if you know me, you know I love nothing more than keeping my rugs clean. Why? Because I'm obsessive compulsive. Absolutely. I have a very sophisticated palette for area rugs. I sold them and installed them for 15 years of my life. I have a one bedroom apartment. I swear to God, the rugs were three times three months rent. Okay. Here's what I want to suggest. Go to rugsforless.com. Do you guys still have that site? No. <laughs> I do. Oh my gosh. This is, I the, sold it to Ted. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you pay for it? You bought the domain? <laughs> Rugs for less. Did you get that shirt there? Dead. I got However, the shirt. Do you know I where st- I got the shirt? Alaska? Yeah. <laughs> over the tray, over the tray, over the tray, over the tray, over the tray. Over the tray. All right. can, I, can I set him up on the kumquat story, please? I would love nothing more. Okay. So we're here. One of the reasons we're here is to visit Teddy's son, Austin and his girlfriend Eliza. Who yep. Shout Monica. out to Austin. <laughs> Shout don't, out to Don't Austin. breathe into it, please. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Let's Let's get get the microphone high. Anyways, right. Austin and Eliza moved into a beautiful home <clears throat> in Santa Monica, not far and from Eliza. the beach. And Eliza. Shout out to Eliza. Yeah. And Charlie. And, and it's Teresa. a beautiful deck and a beautiful front yard, and he happens to have a huge kumquat tree in his front yard. Well, we came to learn how tasty kumquats were. <laughs> especially the skins lolly taught us about the skins but the uh, connection Lally's comes my aunt sorry shout out to lolly <laughs> <laughs> and simon and oliver that's uh simon is the husband and oliver is the son their son right who is got accepted to uh, uh university of mississippi but he old miss but he's not going there thank goodness right, i thought back, it was howard back to where i was uh teddy then ties this. Here's I'm getting there. Ties it right now, Teddy. <laughs> You're getting there to one of his favorite movies from W. C. Fields, which involves 
Coke over the box. tray, over the tray, just over the and, tray, just okay, over the mom. tray. He has the clip, and not so much. Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, real okay. quick. Please, not so much smoke next to the mics. Look, it's all over the place. This is called smoking your joint, yeah, dude. Yeah, just go like this. Turn to the side a little. No, that's the that's the it's, typical way. It's a podcast. This is how I do it. It's a. Podcast. This is how I do it. <laughs> it's with you, man. Just fucking film, will you? So, anyways, here. hold on a second, Dad. Hold on. Yeah. I have I have You'll never be been so I'm disrespected you. by you in all my life. Are you really? That is it about the it's, shirt? Yeah, I told you to change the shirt. If I change the shirt, will you change your fucking attitude? Yeah, absolutely. Just I don't want the smoke near the fucking stuff. It's not that but big of a deal. You have a smoke screen. That's not here. a smoke screen. It's a spit wind screen. This smoke will get in. Do you know what happens when I go out and I'm next to smoke people? I have to get my stuff dry cleaned. I don't dry clean microphones, and I don't know if it's going to ruin whoa, whoa, something. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold, Just hold on. Wild. Back up, back up, big guy. <laughs> what is this called? I think I'm podcast. calling it. I, you know, I don't know what I'm. You asked me to come over here and roll a fucking joint, right? I didn't ask for you to come over here and blow smoke into the microphone. But I'm not. You put me. Well, you put the Let me give you an analogy. Could you shut? Could you shut up for a second? Let me give you an analogy, okay? <laughs> Let's say I invite a girl over. Why do you want to come over? We'll watch a movie. Maybe we'll fool around a little bit. She says, "Okay." We come over. Organically, things happen. Maybe she, she my penis, and she's like, "Oh my god, that's a fucking." Crazy, thank you, by the way. No problem. Crazy, huge right. cock. I have a crazy, huge cock. That's so then I'm we start messing. Father. What's that? That's why I was a great father. <laughs> so then we go into the bedroom, right? We start to get hot and heavy. And then all of a sudden, I start blowing smoke in her face. Ooh, that's sexy. What? <laughs> what does that have to do with no, I'm saying that would about? be disrespectful. No, that's sexy. Yeah, that would be. I agree. <laughs> Sexy. All right. But well, since we're doing a podcast and I'm smoking a joint, hey, hey, and the only a, purpose of this whole thing is fucking me to smoke, smoke, to smoke. Now he's starting to drool. Right? Right? That's <laughs> not what the purpose of this was. I well, said you could smoke. I just don't want you to be too high. So smoke on the podcast. We're smoking. I'm, all, I'm holding I'm it. Holding oh, you're smoking. Hey, smoking smoke. hot. Listen. Smoking. I told you this stuff was, was, was the best shit in the world. I don't care. So whatever whatever comes out of my mouth right now, <laughs> I'm not responsible for. Okay. It's okay. As, <laughs> That's a little asterisk. For, okay. As it turns out, one of Teddy's favorite WC field clips <clears throat> involves kumquats. <laughs> That's very true. All right, I set you up. You give me the joint, and, All right. and you tell us so about... So my son has a kumquat tree, and they're like... What's the guy's name in the WC field? Oh, Mr. Movie? McGonagall. Mr. McGonagall. I love Mr. McGonagall. You got to Google it. You, th you know? Yeah. That's all. You Great. gotta Google it. It's really, it's really a funny. It's one of the funniest W. Sue Field clips. It's everyone's famous. It's very famous. You've probably seen it, maybe. People in in the people of your of your generation don't appreciate W. C. Fields. I, one of my best friends is W. C. Fields. <laughs> That's funny. I guarantee, if you Ricky, see this, thing, have you, you ever have you ever seen W. C. Fields? A yeah, film. Yeah, Aunt Lauren got me a W. C. Fields DVD recently. Well, okay. two Hanukkahs ago. Did you watch it? <laughs> mm -hmm. You know about Mr. McGonagall? I don't know about Mr. McGonagall. <laughs> okay, well, I would just kind of like check in with Mr. McGonagall. All right, well, what I, I do, tell me if this does anything. Right. Because joints... Sorry, by the way... Microphone, you know bring it closer to you. You know how much I love you. I didn't, I didn't mean to... Oh, uh, no, 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 no disrespect. I, okay. was, I know every... I was just being... I was All just right. playing for the... Uh, for the um, okay, whatever. For the room. Uh, but jokes aside, why don't we not have this hash covered knife fall on the couch? So we'll just go ahead and put that. On whatever the whatever you want to do, buddy. No, tell so okay. tell me if this does it's anything. So because funny. joints hurt my throat, what I do yeah. is I drink water. Yeah. That helps. Mm -hmm. Because, it, you know, the, actually the pot makes you have a dry mouth. You know, it's very. Mm. Still going? Oh, yeah. All right. Mm. All right, so I'll roll another one. Well, Ricky, roll. that's Talk. the same principle Ooh, as, a, okay. as an ice bomb. You think we're okay? I think we're okay. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, because I'm always good for another one. You know me. I'd like to say something. If you want another one, help yourself. No, 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 I, I need no. to work we, on we, we what my control one. on this kind of stuff. So if you want to join, well, I'm gonna, you should you do whatever know, in, you want to do. In the process of just living my Easy life. Easy with the coffee on there, though. Put that on the... <laughs> I put the coffee not on the tray. You're making the joint. Just put the where, coffee. Where am I? <laughs> just meet me in the middle, baby. All right, make the joint. I but love just you, man. Where, where the fuck am I? 
No, I hope you get married, man. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Who's gonna put up with I you, man? Him. I love him. <laughs> Who's gonna put up with you? I love you, man. You're right, I gotta work on these things. I do. I have to work on my my control. My he, control. He's got a big cock, though. I maybe you need to hang out with me a little bit more. You know? Uh, yeah, I would love that. That's nothing wrong with that. Like, if we're not in my living know? room, I have the best time in the world with you. <laughs> Right, he's not this ain't no one worth the suite at yeah, the it, shutters on the beach. Right. It's okay over there, right? right? It's okay everywhere, but in my place. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll try. I try to behave. All right. I'll put this back on. The Meanwhile, here. Richard, my uh, compliments to the way you all set right. the studio up and the cameras and everything. You did a nice job. Thank here. you. I'm proud to be here. Is is, is the podcast over? <laughs> no, it's just starting. All right, because I'm like you know. This is see, round two for me. Right, see, he, he's so bored that he doesn't know what to do, so he'll roll another joint. No, we roll. This is like, a, it's, it, it's, you know what it is? It's catharsis, and it's also habit, and it's also, um, you know, the, uh, just the whole, the ritual is relaxing. The ritual yeah? is relaxing. And uh, that's part of it. It's, it's almost like a tea, you know, like a tea thing, you know, a tea ceremony. Yeah, you know? that makes sense to me. And, um, you know, I've been doing this for 50 years, so I'm not going to stop now. You know, everyone's trying to kind of like, you know. Who's asking you to stop? No, I'm not asking you to stop, but I'm just trying to say that it's like, I feel like the world's catching up, you know? Is yeah. That, and You uh, mean they're starting to understand how, how fantastic it is? Well, it's, well, they're, they're capitalizing on it. Like more, you know, it's more than that. I mean, if Sanjay Gupta, you know, has there's plenty of applications for this thing, but you know, there's more commercial mm. um, uh, applications that can... Now that it's legalized and being taxed. Yeah, I mean, now it's going to be in people's drinks and you can buy candy, and, yeah. you know, if you're 21. Or chocolates. My or favorite chocolates. is the... I mean, there's so many products mm. now. I don't know how it's going to filter Whoa. out the ender. I mean, maybe Stouffer's is going to have a version, you know? I don't. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about <laughs> Afghanistan. I can't name more than 20 states. I'll be honest with you. Yes, There's so that. many things I don't know. And you were talking about Gupta, and I don't know if you were being racist or that's a guy's no, name. No, oh, you don't know Gupta? I don't know any. I don't know Sanjay Gupta. anything. Right, okay, well, I'll give you a little well, Actually, I, I, well, then, then you, whoever's Everybody in my is family be... is so smart. Okay. Everybody in my family knows. You're, you're a smart It's too, so Ricky. smart. They know every, you know, every Matt, or my brother, Knows every football player. Matt would have understood. He knows that, what, what I college just said. he goes to. Right. I want to get Matt on the phone to do that trick. My brother, <laughs> if you tell him a name, even an obscure professional athlete in the NBA or the NFL, especially, he'll not only know where they went to college, he'll know what street that college is on. <laughs> no, Matt is Matt has you know a who real, knows Matt it, has a gift. Man. Matt, I'll tell you who knows more than Matt. Danny, okay. yeah, Danny, my co cousin Danny. Call everybody, Danny, if you call anybody, you all know so much. I would like to shout out to Danny for uh, the Glassman family episode, Replenish. Um, oh, you know man. what? Maybe the Star of Replenish. Oh, I was going to maybe say. It affected me in a lot of ways. Yeah, you liked it, didn't you, Ted? Well, I, I actually have my own Replenish situation. <laughs> Everyone yeah, has their own Replenish situation. Yeah, but That's I, what I, made I, it so I had relative. referred him to our Replenish, to the video. Right. Because I didn't really want to get into it. You know, I didn't exactly. want to like, go into the whole, why should you replenish? So I just took Google. <laughs> no, I texted him and told him to watch They'll your video, and then uh, you know, what is the replenish video? How would you explain it for those that haven't seen it? Well, in a, you know, the, in, in bare terms, we have two refrigerators in our house. One that's a secondary refrigerator, refrigerator, and the primary refrigerator. That when you take soda, the soda is kept in the secondary refrigerator. There's sodas on the shelf, and then there's sodas in the refrigerator. And if you take one out of the refrigerator, you replenish it with one from the shelf. So there's always cold soda. So it's been a rule, and the Glassman family goes back to the two-refrigerator house we had. Um, I'm going to probably bleep that address for some reason. That's, that's fine. <laughs> and, yeah, I won't give you the phone number. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, it was a rule. And we had this, the same rule now, and Danny didn't do it. And we had a Thanksgiving or a holiday dinner of some sort where Danny, like, pounded four Diet Cokes out of the secondary refrigerator and never replenished any of them. So, well, you know, I'm just going to play it. Oh, I'm really? just going to play okay. it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to play it. So basically. Well, here, right before basically... you play it, I'm right to the setup of it. 
Put it wait, right yep. to the center. So Debbie went into the my mother. Yeah, my my wife went into the secondary refrigerator to get herself a diet over the coke, tray, and not she found two things. One, the empty cardboard container was left in the refrigerator, and Danny had not replenished these sodas. So where the video picks up is Debbie coming back into the kitchen. I get it. Over the tray. Over the tray. So you're going to be hearing dad's voice, mom's voice. Replenish. You're supposed to take the the warm ones and fill it up after you finish. You didn't have one today. I, 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 oh, I, I saw you have a soda pop today. I had one yesterday. One. I had a million yesterday. You had a million yesterday. But I definitely might. You're supposed to replenish. Listen. You take the oh, car and leave. You didn't replenish. God damn it. I can't believe it. I never had anything after you've been here. What the fuck? Gospel. This is my brother now on the if phone. If you went downstairs in the basement and got a soda, what was the fucking rule? Okay. What the fuck? Danny doesn't fucking replenish. No, I listen. I think it's a microcosm of more serious things. It's a microcosm. Of more serious things. <laughs> That's what T. Danny off when he ran out of the room and laid down and pouted for a while. Danny just calls. I'm gonna give him a call back. Oh, good, good. Miss Danny. Hello? Dan Laboom. What's up? Hey, we have you on the podcast. I'm with Teddy and my dad. And we were just talking about... Over the tray, Teddy? (laughs) We were just talking about you and how you and Matt have this skill set that we could name a basketball or football player and you know where they went to college and what city and sometimes street that college is on. Are you as good at that as Matt? Dad says you are. Uh, Matt's better at that. No, you're, you're better, right. Danny. Well, name a, name. My specialty is naming the nickname. Okay. College. Well, for instance, Danny, let's take the Los Angeles Lakers. Do you who? What happened today with the Lakers and the Sixers? Do you know, Danny? Sorry? Do you know what happened with the Lakers Sixer game today? By the way, hi, Danny. How are you, buddy? I don't think he can hear you very <laughs> you well because yeah. I don't have the phone uh, into the uh, into the uh, system. On the mic. Sorry, Danny. Hey, Danny. I'll be honest with you. Okay. We're all just super high, and the way this setup is working with Teddy's fingers that I don't want getting on the curtains oh, are this. Right. I'm going to give you a call later. I love you. Bye. All right. I love you. <laughs> I wish the lobster bib. <laughs> oh, man. Teddy should tell some stories. You know, Teddy was on the road with Jay Giles once. Teddy, I'd like, to t- I'd like to talk about our relationship before we tell other stories of people that don't know anybody, how we all know each other. I've known you most of my life. Yes, you have. Teddy, I was introduced to to my earliest memory is my bar mitzvah. I'm sure before that, many times. I'm going to excuse myself for a second get a glass of water. Here, allow me. No, that's sparkling, isn't no, it? No, it's sparkling. Oh, I'm like, do I need any hard yeah, liquor yeah, for this I'm one? Over the tray. So my earliest memory of you, Teddy, is the bar mitzvah at the Embassy Suites. Matt's bar mitzvah, not mm-hmm. mine. Mm-hmm. And that's where uh, uh, I kind of met, again, your two sons, uh, Austin and Danny. Shout out to Danny, too. We didn't shout, shout out, out to Danny. Danny Daniel, Mimi, how you guys doing? And then uh, you, then you, uh, you, came, you guys came over more frequently, and I play piano, but you are a, a, an amazing musician, and we're going to have you on the keys Thank a little you. bit later. Thank I look you. forward to that. But well, I watch you play, and you have a specialty in the blues. Bring the microphone closer. Well, you could move it. You know, we have that whole connection between Ray Charles and, um, you know, your family and my and Well, and I don't my think our, our listeners know this, but my grandfather, Sid Feller, worked, arranged, and produced Ray Charles's music. That is correct. All the good stuff. That's he, the he connection. He did the uh, arrangement for uh, string arrangement for yesterday. He did the string arrangement for... Um, Georgia. For Georgia, which is my, my mind, favorite. Which the is strings probably, and piano, and you know, that is my favorite song. Paul McCartney said that uh, the arrangement for yesterday was like the best arrangement of his song that anyone ever did. But not only that, you know, S- Uncle Sid was just um, a very modest guy and um, he was just a real inspirational guy. Would character. you say, because my yeah. grandpa Sid was rough sometimes with certain things similar to the tray would you see sid understanding what i'm talking about with the fingers yeah, absolutely but sid also had that big porno collection 
What the biggest collection? is that a real thing? Oh, you don't know <laughs> no, about there's that? No way. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Okay, hold on. Before you tell me this obviously lie, it's let not me just let, explain. Lie. My grandpa said, <laughs> one second, one second. <laughs> My grandpa said is the most straight guy you've ever met. He cuts up his bananas in perfect sizes and places them around in a perfect circle thing. And then a, one blueberry on each banana. He has all his VHS tapes, hundreds of tapes labeled. He's the most anal person ever. And you're telling me that Grandpa Sid, may he rest in peace, had a huge porno collection. He loved his porn, and he had a. You you just said it before. Mom's you, gonna watch this. Mom knows about it. Mom knows about Grandpa Sid's porno collection. Absolutely. Listen to me. You just referred to Grandpa Sid's VCRs in order and everything else. Is oh, he had I remember, walls of yes, tapes, right? And VCRs. A lot of those were porn tapes. I'm getting Mom on the phone and asking her. Absolutely. You call her right now. <laughs> <laughs> How we doing? Mom's doing not gonna okay? be able to hear you. Okay, I know. You'll talk. We have we okay? Are we good? Hi, lovey. Mom, I have a question for you. Teddy into the microphone. Hi, Debs. Yeah, hi. He, she, he, hi, she can't hear us. Oh, okay. So so we were uh Dad is telling us some stories. And huh? I was talking about how Teddy uh I play the piano and then Ted, I saw jazz and I got into blues and jazz through Teddy and he taught me my first few licks. And then we, right. he talked about their Sid Feller connection. We started talking about how great grandpa is. And funny how I've been pretty anal about how they're using the coasters and the trays. And I said, that's kind of like grandpa Sid, wouldn't you say? And then they brought up grandpa's porn collection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. Who brought that up, Teddy? Yes. <laughs> Dad. Well, no, and Teddy grandpa, did first. Grandpa didn't have a porn collection, but when we lived in New York, and this is true when Ted really does not know this, or my husband know this, but when we lived in New York, I found out later on, um, once a month, my parents would go up the street to a neighbor's house, and all the neighbors would meet there, and they would go in the basement, and they would watch porn movies. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were going to say, oh, they all fucked the neighbors. <laughs> My heart stopped. I thought the way you set that up. Just say they watched pornos at the neighbors. You don't no, say once a I, week. I heard he had his own porn oh, at the house. He did for sure, Debbie. You, you don't want to remember, but he had porn. He loved his porn, your father. No, he loved watching dirty movies. Yes, he did. Yeah. He didn't have porn in the house. He didn't have pictures or anything. But he they would go to the videos. Hold on. We're you not guys, the FBI. you guys, stop, stop. <laughs> Mom, grandma. And grandpa would go to neighbors' homes and go in their basement and they'd what? Sit on the couch and watch people get fucking drilled? <laughs> Careful with the coffee. coffee. Oh my god. Ricky have a fit. Well, I mean, what are they are they touching each other? <laughs> They're fucking each other with cum shots and oh, everything. Cum quats. <laughs> cum quats. I heard his big mouth back there. Okay. I so love I love you, sweetheart. Teddy, you, you gotta sweet. just bring them. You don't have to sit forward. Just bring it. It was like a little Jewish community, and everybody had, was living out on the island. And there was like a, we lived on the street, and there was like five families. They were all really good friends. Yeah, I obviously. I think we can stop there. Always had like this. Everybody over, and then once in a while, my parents would go. And so oh so then you go all the time so these these neighbors on the island they'd all watch porn in the basement but every now and then grandma and grandpa would say do you guys want to get some deli or should we go watch people jerk off next door it was much more than jerking off the street wasn't next door all right yeah. shout out to grandpa sid and his porn collection uh, brilliant man absolutely. grandpa sid yes yes he was a brilliant he was a logical man. He, he was the sweetest, the sweetest guy. Uh, he took me into the family the first day I met him. He was the mo uh, most lovable man. I want, uh, you know, I'll okay. tell you, okay. I love the guy. On earth. He was the most delicious man. He treated me ever. like a son. I swear to God, he was. He I, taught me. He taught me what I wanted to have. I would never settle for anything less than. The kind of man my my father was, and I got it with my oh, husband. No. Who I I'm not in his class. <laughs> you you know about the thing with how many notches he had in the on the room. You knew about. <laughs> Love that, you, right? mom. I'll call you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> You know oh, about that? Okay. I don't care, man. <laughs> I think we made our point about Sid. God bless him. I love him. Brilliant man. Yeah. All right. So okay. listen, I'm gonna. Uh, I'd like to get you uh, to play a little piano. 
Yeah, let's. I want, I want people to see you as a musician. Let's take a two minute break and then we'll do that. How's that sound? Well, you can take a two minute. You break. take a two minute break. We'll still be here. Okay, you have to still keep potting. Is that the deal? Yeah, it's a podcast. No, just head over to the piano. Yeah. We'll take a two minute break and then we'll go to the piano. Yeah, well, I, I want. Uh, we have another. We have another little thingy here. <laughs> Great. The... You smoke. Smoke that. I don't. If I bring it over to the piano and I get like one on one, oh, like no, no, one you ash can't. on a key. No, no, you can't this guy's smoke gonna have like a, like a you know goiter. You know, <laughs> I'd, I'd rather wait on that joint till we smoke to <laughs> a goiter. Is that bring like the a, mic to you. Two, Is that like a kumquat? Two. <laughs> hey, how about those kumquats? All right, <laughs> Mr. McGonagall. Oh my God. My my son's got this tree. It's like a hundred kumquats. Um, and it reminded me of that W.C. Fields man, the best. We got his, I have it on phone, we, on my phone now. Is pull it a, up. Yeah, pull it up. That's what I was uh, my trying to say phone is, What's yeah, the bit? It's called um, The Blind Man, W.C. Fields Blind Man. Okay, how long is it? Um, Maybe two minutes. Yeah, but it kind of loses its effect if you can't see it. <laughs> you got to see it, but it, the, the, even the, the, the... Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Even the the the, the uh, audio is Open pretty funny. That's it, though, Ricky. Open the door, Mr. Muckle, the blind man! Call about my cum-pops! What did you say? Cum-pops! Hey! <laughs> He's a blind man. With the cane, he's breaking everything. Hey, Yeah, uh, it's great, man. Yeah, it's a classic. Yes, it's one of the classics. WC you know? feels. Teddy, I have a question for you. Why yeah. is it that you didn't want the headphones on? Um, I, if, you know, I, do I need them? I'm, I'm hearing myself. No, 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 you don't. Uh, so I, I feel better without the headphones. You feel better on. without them. Yeah. Dad, I I like hearing like I, when you guys I do, closer in my headphones, like with them. I, I like to do, when I do vocals. Nice I like my headphones on, but other than that, I like just like I feel more natural just talking to you, just not the way we are. I think it has something to do with Teddy has them on all the time when he sings. Mm. Yeah, it's Teddy's quite a musician. Work. He has his own studio in Manhattan. He produces, he records, and he rolls. You know what? Yeah, man. Uh, you want me to play piano for you, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Well, let me let me have one token of this, and then we'll do yeah, that. Yeah, over the that tray. Over the tray. Right. We'll keep everything nice and nice in the Watch tray. The coffee. Look oh my god! Look oh out. jeez, look I'm so oh, nervous. I'll clean the tray. You don't oh, have to clean oh, the tray. Oh, 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 look at this! Oops! Oops! No, what's oops, great about a tray is that's where the mess is supposed yes, to go. Yes. Gotcha. TV dinners. <laughs> no left shoe. I got a good song for you. It's called the nonsense song. You want to hear it? Yeah. Okay. It goes, um, hi, hello, raspberry jello, licorice stick, marshmallow, isn't it fun to sing a nonsense song? Toodaloo, Elmer's glue, TV dinners, no left shoe, isn't it fun? Though I may be wrong to sing a nonsense bump 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 to sing a nonsense bump 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 a totally nonsense song da da la da la da da okay, da this is da, why I didn't want you guys to come over already I <laughs> That's the, uh, that's the nonsense that's the, song. That's, that's the nonsense that's song. That's okay. a beautiful song. Written by Ivan Fidel. <laughs> oh, Ivan. not his brother, Demetrius. No, Ivan Fidel. Why'd you emphasize I, Ivan as if I thought you were going to talk about a his, different Fidel? His son, Brad Fidel, oh. is the song sound designer for the Terminator 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. You think I didn't know that Brad Fizel was the sound coordinator of Team 1 through 5? One of my favorite sound coordinators there is. All right. So he's, you know, me and Brad grew up together. Okay. Okay. We, I went to his father's creative art school in Bayville, Long Island at the age of seven. For how long? For seven years. And me and Brad played for the music dance class is that where you learned the nonsense song that's where um, uh, ivan loved me and i loved ivan and me and brad were like this and then you know Dude, he I went know to LA. 7 through 14 is this an is this an addition to regular public schooling or is this a school you went to no, i i would do this 
on it was a Saturday program, and then we we do uh, as we got older, we became camp counselors. So at the age of fourteen, Ivan or Brad, Brad, me right. and Brad were camp counselors. So at, at the Jewish age, camp, well, most of the kids were Jewish. I mean, um, probably still are. Uh, Matthews, what was that guy from uh, the Odd Couple? Um, Matthew Broderick. No, the the Odd Couple, the Jack original. Lemon? And the original guy was Jack Walter Clement, Matthaus Jack kid Clement. was there. You know, there were a lot of he- shout heavy out to out. Walter Matthaus kid. Right, Walter Matthaus kid. You don't know his you name? Know, I, I don't know his kid, but Jerry. He, he was there too. <laughs> Didn't they get his a Jerry lot, Matthau. A yeah. lot of kind of like <laughs> bohemian, a lot of bohemian kind of people from the fi- you know from the fifties and the sixties that were really cool went to this camp. It cool. Was, but my mother found it. God bless her. She found you know she she searched out these kind of cool places. You know. So I was very lucky to go and hang with this guy, Ivan, his dad, who wrote an operetta every six months for each incoming um, school thing. Class, you know? yes. And it was original operettas, you know, and they were like... Operettas is different than an opera? Opera is like talk, operetta it's, it's is like talking opera. and singing. All right. Operetta. What, yeah. The Edda adds more talking. Regular operas all sing. Edda is talk and sing. Correct. So he would do these talk and sing operettas every six months, original, original, you know, totally out of his own head. You know, the guy was a genius. Never got the recognition he should have got. But his son, well, give it to well, him he's now. It now. He's getting it now, absolutely. I, well, it's Ivan Broderick. I, I, right. I, I, he, he was like and my Jerry my, he was one of my my early mentors. You know, and his and and Ivan. You know, obviously, you know, we you know, even though we we were Facebook friends now, but we, you know, I haven't seen him since, you know. Right. 40 years ago. Whatever. There's a lot of people you're friends with you haven't seen in a long time. Yeah. The guy out here, the, the guy, uh, what's his name? The bass player. What's his name? Yeah, I was all really good friends with um, Dave Schwartz, who did yeah, Dave Schwartz. music for Deadwood, Northern Exposure, Arrested Rest Development. Development. And what's the other one we talked about? We can't come up with it. We came up with it. Yeah. Um, um, Deadwood. Holman something. Yeah. Um, it's the fucking you know, yeah. It's anyway. the movie with Richard Dreyfuss. It's one of the hot ones now, right? <sighs> oh, sorry, I was anyway, asleep for the past twenty fucking asleep. minutes. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to play piano, but I'm like right now. I'm <laughs> that was the most <laughs> boring twenty minutes of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Mathau and Ivan and Brad. Who gives a fuck? Who gives the a operettas? <laughs> you fucking blow me, the operetta. I doesn't get the recognition he deserved, dude. You know who else doesn't get the recognition? They deserve me My with dick. just using a tray. All right? There's only so much recognition I'm asking for. Smoke away from the microphone over the tray. You're going to talk 20 minutes about the operetta? Can't stay on the goddamn tray? We'll be right back. Sponsors with Marshall Rug Gallery. <laughs> Thank God. We have someone to cut me off. <laughs> Jesus fuck. Fucking Christ! <laughs> I'm in my head. Hold on a second, Teddy. Let me have the let me have the floor you for. You wanted me to kill for some five time. seconds. No, I didn't. I wanted, to, I wanted to kill some time, not my subscriber count. <sighs> Teddy, I got to tell you something. Can we edit that out? In, I, I, yeah, the whole podcast will be a bad commercial for Marshall Rug Gallery. Everything else gone. Over the tray. Over the tray. Oh God, this is so much fun. Teddy, I want to tell you something. You're talking about this story and you're boring the hell out of me with Ivan and Brad and the rest of the gang of your friends and Facebook. Listen, and I'm in my head thinking to myself, Rick, this is just a selfish side of you. You're not liking this because you don't know who these people are or it's not about me. And, you know, I'm selfish and Rick, you need to work on that. And as I'm listening and I'm realizing I don't know the difference at a certain point. When is someone just you got to tell them to knock it off? Right. When do I tell you to knock it off? This is boring. Well, you know, that I being the bad guy is good, so you got to be the bad guy. But I'm, I, my instinct, and if this weren't on, I probably would have said, "Teddy, what the fuck are you talking about?" Right. But I was thinking about, oh, I'm on this podcast, and I gotta, I got, I shouldn't be disrespectful, but also like, so we're do on the same page. Favor. Do me a favor. <laughs> so Italian. Be your fucking self, okay? <laughs> if yeah. it fucking annoys you, say. It annoys me. Move on. Well, Let's go. Next. I've been doing it with the train. Come on, and I'm man. realizing maybe Fucking I'm being Kel- too much. Throw me a bone, <laughs> will you? All know, right? Lead Ricky, me in the right direction here. Teddy, Teddy doesn't know about the uh, what, you're, uh, the, uh, what you're writing on, and what you're working on. I think a little background for him might help. Teddy, uh, yeah, I don't give know. Give me an update. Uh, give me some updates. Two, What's going on in the Rick life? Two years ago, I was diagnosed with level one autism, which is commonly known as Asperger's syndrome. So 
I have been exploring some of this these ideas over the past few years of and to my lack of awareness, one of which being I don't know how other people receive me. And another being, I don't understand people that think differently than me. These are just things I'm sure everyone could relate to that I just lacked awareness that I was doing it. So I'm trying to be more understanding of boring people. <laughs> I'm trying to be like, uh, so basically when someone says to me like, hey, I, you know, I went to summer camp every Sunday. I went and I, I learned the piano with so-and-so. And then instead of going like this, uh, I now learn to go like this. Oh, and that's, you ha- that's good, good that you yeah. learned. It is. But at a certain point, I'm getting tired no, no. of the, oh. Yeah. And I just want to say, oh. it, it, it doesn't matter. You know what I think? What if we could just say this to somebody? Uh, no, I don't, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. I do that all the time. Yeah, but when you're yeah, so in front of people called, that don't know you, they think you're the rude. Filter. It's called the filter. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you got to work on that. All right. Part Maybe of, and see, and here's where see, I that's think, part of the thing. Okay, you got to work on shit like that. Can we show that's, him that can't that can't <laughs> freak you out. All right, you got to be cool about that. I mean, I I got the picture. Once but, we you do, know, I understand this. you want to keep the place neat, and I would never leave you in a place. Teddy, I, I, you can't about. admit that I'm wrong. You have a, a, a joint with ash that's ready to fall yeah, on the rug. It's not going to fall. What? Why would it not fall? Because, because I've been smoking for fifty six years. Yeah. You're telling me that you've never ashed a. Why do you even need an ashtray? He almost doesn't. Uh, I, I don't. I can yeah. do it on my pants. Yeah, he if usually I usually doesn't. He, he got the ashtray out of respect. <laughs> yeah. Well, then use it out of respect. I'm listen, using it. Listen, is there a chance that after this is over, that he can look at the footage that you did with Joe McHale and, and your bar mitzvah and all that stuff? Because I think sure. it's, I think it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. I really do. I think it's going to be unbelievable. It's a great come. After the sixth lead, which is one of my favorites, and I love the sixth it, lead. It's underrated; people don't see it enough. Would it's you say it gets less brilliant. recognition than what Brad uh, Ivan? It, it gets less recognition than Ivan. Got. Ivan's brother. No, Brad or was his Brad, father. Brad, who you had the right? Was his dad doing the operetta? The one that wanted the yes, recognition. Who needs Ivan. more recognition? Ivan. Well, the, Ivan. Dad, the dad got no recognition. The dad. Right. It was Ivan right. and Brad's dad. What's Ivan? No, 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 Ricky. Ivan is the dad. No, Brad's Ivan is son. Brad's brother. No, no Ivan's the dad. Ivan's the dad. I remember it wrong. Yes. I mean, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't understand. So, Ivan was just a eclectic so. guy in Long Island who had had. He had his wife was a was a modern dancer. Teddy, yeah, we don't uh, care. Who gives a yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who gives a fuck? It was My fucking. Point cool. is, it was really cool. Okay, My point it was, is, a, Ivan it got was more, a cool way to grow up. Ivan right? got more That's appreciation. Cool. Right? If than you had, the if you were exposed did. to that kind of shit when you were <laughs> at, at a young age, yeah. you know, you had a tendency to go with the creative arts world. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. You know, I was lucky enough to be in that kind of a situation. Yeah, well, uh, you know, Ivan. And when you can go, or you can go. That's cool. <laughs> and you know something? It was cool. So that's... I even got more appreciation than Ricky did for the sixth lead. The sixth lead was one of my favorites. You should go out there and watch sixth it Sixth right lead was now. a fucking hit. All right, we should it was a commercialize it. We should do more of it. <laughs> we should get a, se- a second season. This is 66 leads. The sixth lead. And we should do the autism thing. I think what you did there with Joe McHale was brilliant. Um, I so think I'm, it was great. I'm higher than I meant to be. But I'm lower than I meant to see. For the stars above survive in my mind's heart to be. I was 16 years old the first time I saw her. I thought to myself, I could float. I'm a baller. I never loved love like a situation speaks until the heart beneath with my nipple hole reeks. My stomach's twirling. My nose is grinning. My eyeballs shine to the groan we live in. Lord Jesus Christ, thanks for all forgiven. For my mind's eye, tell me what the Lord has given. We rise up into the souls of situations. We speak when we divide, when we rise with our pride, but we can't deny the fact that we still survive. Lie too from my own grave, or was I too from my own behavior, the missed situation when you pop, when you rhythm, when you crop with you with them, and you love what you give them. Because I'm two men, bread my heart, Ivan. my soul, I'm two breads. With my arms and my robes, I get no bread for my wife and my kids. Thus I steal when I stab and I live when I say love. Philosophy tells me it's situation based. My love <clears throat> for the faith. Keyboards. Yeah, do you want to play something? What is that? I, it was just freestyling, man. Get the fuck out of here. No, that was all off my head, dude. Why don't you do that the fucking Friday night? Man? Dude, I should go down to the spoken word. Spoke the Lord, for I told my own minds when I looked the word I see in the mirror, not myself, but a matter of fact, for an opinion in my soul is my own black cap.
I don't wear two hats on my own man's hat, but a haberdashery speaks when I'm allergic to cats because their saliva is what makes me sneeze. It's not the fur. A lot of people don't understand, so allow me to defer. You Google situations like, where can I find them? It says what? I see the cat. They say one. I say tandem. <laughs> I want matching cats, matching caps, matching lats, matching draps. I want to match the daps, match the caps. For when you want to smoke over the tray light with a lighter, not a match. Because where do we put it? On the hot surface? Yo, yo, yo. Break up. <laughs> Speaking of a yo, yo that is broke this, up, this you guys have a yo, yo in is your this hotel a that broke up. Absolutely. Thing that you just did I off do. the top of your head. Dude, yeah. he does it all, all right, the listen, time. Listen, dude, I, it's yo, in here, man. Time up. stops for shut me. Up. Come, to, I'll pay for you to come to New York. Put that in, um, on on video, yeah, on, on on tape. I would love that. <laughs> All right, we'll get me in the studio. The keyword you. was pay to go to New York. You if find me first it, class? No. Extended leg room. Get extended, extended leg, leg room. room. <laughs> Delta Plus. Delta, Delta Plus. Comfort. Do you fly me Delta Plus to New York? I'll spit hot fucking fire. <laughs> I'll sit on the stoop. I don't care if I have to poop. <laughs> I'll hold it in. With a smile. No, no, no. A big ass grin. My teeth will be white because I'll whiten them before. <laughs> we'll laugh a little bit when I walk in the door. But once the beat drops, the comedy <laughs> stops. Because the real pain inside me. Tick tock goes the clock. I'm ready. I'm bleeding on the inside eternally. You cut me on the out. I'm bleeding Why verbally. Why doing this every night? Dude, I'm <laughs> telling you, man. Listen. This is my real passion. All right, so listen. Let me put this to a fucking music. Great. Yeah, are you serious? Delta Plus. I swear to God. Where am I staying? I don't want to stay in Long Island. I want to stay in the... Well, in, stay in, with in, me. I want to stay in the city. No, you stay in Melville. It's beautiful in Melville. Okay. You get along with Dan? Yeah, but yeah. that's too small there. It's too Dan's small a there. guest room, though. There's a guest room. No, here's what you got to do. Bring the mic closer my, to you. No, no, he's not getting the hotel room. No, no, no. Get, bring the mic to you. You stay at the house. I'll stay at the house uh, one or two nights, and I'll, I'll put myself up in a hotel a couple okay, of nights. that's fine. Yeah. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I want to stay at the plaza. Right, this is what I'm going to do. Listen to me. <laughs> when I get back to New York, I'm going to send you four beats. Dude. Okay? Send I'm gonna me send you five. Four, no, I'm going to send you four beats. You work on those four beats. You tell me when you're ready, and then uh, we come. Are you right, serious? Can I tell you something, Teddy? What the fuck? I, if I can do that with a kid, what can I do with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> we'll call him little fucking Schmain. I don't care who we call him. Little no, Shreen. I'm the candy rapper. We'll call him giant, giant Schween. I'm the candy rapper. Ivan. This is my passion. How about call huge Schween? What do we call you? King Schween? Let's get you on the keys. <laughs> yeah, let's get you on the keys. I want to show them your piano playing. I also want to get you with George. Uh oh, Teddy's in Ricky's kitchen. Yeah, Teddy just went into the ice with his hands. Right. Did not <laughs> use ice tongs. There's five ice cubes. <laughs> <laughs> All comes, right. Here comes George. George. Oh, it's a nice it, guitar, yeah. George. What is it? You mean you can smell the pot? Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> really? Yeah. You guys have no idea. I can't smell it. My neighbor, George. Uh, Teddy, one sec. Uh, George, could you give yourself an introduction? Yes. Okay. Thank you. 
I hate to do this, but I have you stop just one sec because. Um, I I need to call my Uber at the. Yeah, go go. No, go, I need go. to go. Okay. I said. Thank you for to coming go. over. And we'll have great, you, we'll have you on again. Me. Yeah, I hope so. You guys sounded unbelievable. Oh, that was fun, Teddy. Unbelievable. Yeah. That was. Thanks. Yeah, that was fun, man. <laughs> Uh, Thanks, hey, George. Have fun. Right. George, thank you, you buddy. Thank you. George, where, George, where, where, where can we, where can we tell people to check you out? Uh, my website. Here, here, come, come in here, would you? Yeah, I'd say my website is the best place. Am I on this camera? George Krikas, G E O R G E K R I K E S dot net. I lost dot com. So. What do you mean you lost it? Somebody I I it lapsed. Over? Yeah, and someone took it over, and they want like five grand. I'm like, yeah. No, oh, like, that net. sucks. I'm going dot yeah. net. Okay. If you're a really big fan and you guys have some money and you want to go ahead and buy that GeorgeKriegis.com <laughs> domain and send it on over, George, would you write them a special song thanking them? Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. 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 All right, boys. See yeah. you, George. Yeah. Um, uh, Thanks, bye, Chris. George. Have a good show tonight, bud. Thank you, man. Ted, yeah, on anything. Thanks for the, using the coaster. Um, Ted, give us a little jam sesh yeah. real quick. That was fun, George. Teddy. Yeah, George, isn't, isn't he great? Good. But George is That's talented. Very cute. He's really good. I would love to play with him when we do a blues thing. Okay? That'd be great. He'd be perfect. I don't, I don't have to teach him anything. It's great. You know, I'm just going to play. Desperado, why don't you come to your senses? Been riding fences far too long. Hey, now, baby, <laughs> maybe that's just some people talking. Prisoners walking through. That was fun. That was good, man. Thanks, man. G give something upbeat. Give us a little something upbeat. Well, why don't you just like play, just yeah. jam, you know? Just why don't you play, switch, why don't you put on that electric? If I improvise, I think I'll be okay. Yeah, improvise. Yeah. There you go. That's the one. Bow. good piano bar music. Forever, 
Would this <laughs> last forever? <laughs> Should this last, last forever? forever? Well, then I thought to myself, last forever. Enjoy the moment, last forever. For whether or not it goes too far, whether or not we go to war now. If it should Last end too ever. soon ever. Ooh, 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 ooh. ever Ba 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 doo doo Ever Shibbity ba 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 doo 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 I like ever. to talk about giving I'm taking I'm drinking I'm living I'm loving I'm taking I'm when I'm, I'm ever You know, I had a girl over last night. Did I tell you this, Dad? Emily. Yeah, Emily's her name. Yeah, I, uh, I asked if she wanted to spend the night. You know what she said? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, she Hell said. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Forever. Hell yeah. yeah. So listen to this, right? Right on. So she spends the night. Hell yeah. We start and kissing, and then we get into a verbal fight. Now verbal let me fight, tell you the story. Fight, a verbal fight. So she came into my bedroom. She took off all of her clothes. Oh, yeah. And then she took her phone and she put it on my sheets. Well, that's Ew. disgusting. That's disgusting. So I kindly said, please that's move disgusting. your phone. Right? Now listen to this. Move that phone. She says, I didn't realize you wanted me to. I'm sorry I even entered your home. And that's when I realized this girl had a little spunk. Oh, yeah. So I spit disgusting. in her face. She spit back in mine. I opened my mouth and I realized this got hot just in time. So we did spinning and kissing and touching and loving and dreaming and drinking little whiskey. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know. I'm too. I think I'm too young for this. Oh, oh, dude. That joint <laughs> got me something. Can I take two? Can I take two? Yeah. yeah, well, you know what? No, this was great. Let's just end here. Get back in, in your seat and let's just close it out. Right. Was, that, was that good? Was it was yeah, gorgeous. Was you were perfect. amazing. Ted amazing. Wender, everybody. Ted Wender. Amazing. Ted Wender. Say something, Teddy. Testing one, okay, two. Okay, I hear you just fine. That was a great All set right. by Ted Wender on WJMO 106.5. George, George, very good. That George, George, George very good. the yeah, Greek great. just helped us out there. I like the way he plays slide, too. It's really, uh, George had a yeah, pretty he, good guitar. He played he slide. He would be perfect. All I need is, I'm sure George would know a good bass player, I'm too. sure he does, too. Um, I would like to say that uh, George Crikes, he George Crikes, loves everybody. um Tom Waits. Oh, oh, he loves Tom Waits. I can hear from his playing that he's he's perfect for what I need. Yeah, you know? and he he plays. He has a, a wait uh, an album that just came out of uh, of all Tom Waits covers, and it's oh, really? phenomenal. I'm okay. going to send it like to you. Yeah. Hear that. Oh, do me a favor. Phenomenal. Send, send him my. Do you have my Dylan my Dylan cover album? I have, it, I have it. I have it here. Yes. Send, yeah. it, send that to him. Okay. All right. We'll do. Because I really I really like. Him. I want to here. Shout out to the, shout out <clears> where where people could find this. What's that? Oh, well, you can find that on iTunes. iTunes. What, are, what are they searching for you? Ted You're looking Wender. for Teddy Wender Timeless, and that's my Teddy uh, Wender Timeless. Tribble is my tribute to Dylan. You guys, well, I'd love to end this podcast by okay. saying, um, first of all, that it's music the most segment, fun hour forty my entire life. That music was so great. I, you were. That, I love what, watching you and listening to you both play and seeing you play together was such a treat for me, and it sounded so good. So thank you so much. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you in New York. Easy with the, thank you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and Dad, it was great having you here. And I don't think I've ever been able to really just jam and vibe out with you the way we did just now. Yeah, it's great pleasure. Well, I'm glad it's a we great pleasure. Do that, man. Happy to be here. That's Happy to be here. Say. So, uh, thank you guys so much. Um, 
for coming. Okay, you know, one thing I'd like to say before we sign off, not that anyone's going to be listening, but what I like about this format, it so much reminds me of one of my favorite Seinfeld episodes where Kramer had the... Uh, talk show set that he got out of the mm-hmm. garbage and he set it up his apartment and he had guests over all the time and then Jerry and his girlfriend got in a fight and the zoo guy brought an animal over. At any rate, it just reminds me of this that we're on show even though we're not. Thank you very much. Okay, Ricky, I'll sign it off. Okay. All right, signing off. Hey, good night. Peace. Make sure to God bless America, right? With, with, that's right, right, right. Yeah, and Afghanistan. And Afgan- well, you know, like we love dogs. Afghanistan. Yeah. In fact, I don't really want to leave. You know, we, you know, we should. We'll keep. We're it going. not going to leave because Ricky's going to show you his stuff that he did for uh, with Joe McHale and and yeah, about his, yeah, yeah, go like this. I also like to apologize stuff. if I didn't say that earlier. Yeah, I like apologize. If you guys are yeah. looking at my dad's sides of the mouth and he has it on there. You that might make you look disgusting so we just want to see disgusting. that we fixed it or we i would be in, hold on a second i would be humiliated if all of my fans saw ew dad cut it out ew cut it out all right you know if you want to get it ricky one thing you got to do is go and put your feet on his pillow he doesn't like that very much you get to be like howie all right you got to you talk to Howie. You came in, you took your shoes off, you put them on top of my shoes. I just think we're on a different frequency altogether. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm on my own frequency. I admit it, man. Uh, All right. Fre- How are you your know, fingertips? It's called 420. <laughs> it's called 420. We got Teddy Wender, Stephen Glassman. Right. I, of course, am Rick Glassman saying to you, you're welcome. Have a good night. And a pleasant tomorrow. Scoot doo. Blabbity blue Scoop